Welcome back guys to another series of Windows 8.1 formerly known as Windows Blue. So this is the 10th part of the overview of this up and coming OS build. So in part 9 we talk about the new features which debuted in the build 9369 and also the build 9374 within the start screen. And so part 10, the one that you're watching right now, is going to be going into a little deeper into the PC settings and see what Microsoft has created in regards to those new features that you're accustomed to on the desktop and we're going to go ahead and see what they can do for the Metro UI, or the modern UI that is. So navigating to the PC settings, I'll head to the charms bar over here. And as you can see, the selection right here has changed a bit. And also right here, if you haven't noticed, this is a little buggy. This is nothing that you should be expecting. It's just a bug for this current build. So do not pay attention to that. But over here, what I wanna show you guys uh, in regards to the charms bar, which navigates to the PC settings, I wanna show you guys that searching in the charms bar doesn't overtake the whole screen anymore. It just has this menu that you can just search so for example, if I were to go ahead and press reader and then press enter, this comes up. So it doesn't go into the whole Metro UI or the whole modern UI and goes into a whole flipped out program or UI screen. It just has this little discrete menu on the far right. And all you have to do is just search and it comes up and it doesn't bring you into another screen. And I think that's really unique as well. So going back over to the settings and into change PC settings. Now the new tab that we can also mention is the home tab and what this tab does even though it's under construction right now is it brings up all your featured settings all the featured settings that you have clicked before or the most used settings and they bring them up right here in this home screen um, but that could be changing pretty soon being that Microsoft doesn't have this available on the 9374 build because it's currently under construction. The lock screen does have some new features, but that is going into regards to the previous videos that I've done in parts. If you guys want to go ahead and check out those videos, you can. Um, just your general information and your customization for that. There is nothing new in the screen, just your basic display settings and power and sleep settings as well. Now under the user settings, there's this thing called sync settings. And under sync settings, for example, this is a feature that if you have your settings on one PC and onto another, you can prevent those settings from being synced to that PC that you don't want. If that PC has a whole different setup that you don't want your other settings to have, then you can actually turn them off and they won't be applied to those other PCs that you have. And also this can be vice versa versa you can also have them on and you can also have them synced with any other settings that you have on your pc so that's more convenient and for example like the start screen all your tiles can be placed in a certain area that you had before when you go ahead and log on to your microsoft account from any pc that you choose Furthermore, we have a new feature called Lockdown, and this allows for the app, depending on its function, to act as a single displayed immersive app for whatever purpose it has. I only want to guess three options here, and I believe, let's just say, for example, you have a company's account, and they will go ahead and retrieve any information that you input, and it will submit to a particular Microsoft account, and it'll submit to a server that that company has. For example, if it's a restaurant app or a government app, it'll be connected, and that account will also forward all that information that you inputted, for example, you know, merchandise information, etc. The second one, I would say that this could be a local account and would be on a local server or just for example, an app that you can go and log on to preview, for example, a demo app. And I want to go ahead and say the third possible is could be your Microsoft account that has all your account information. For example, if you don't want to go ahead and input your information, you can go ahead and log into your Microsoft account. That particular app in that kiosk will go ahead and be displayed. It'll have all your information. That way you don't have to input all your personal account information information, it'll go ahead and further hasten the delay uh, with filling out all your personal information. Um, I currently can't use the app right now because in the 9374, it doesn't allow me to. But in general, just say, for example, you can go ahead and set an app for a particular account to go ahead and use. And that app will only be displayed. You can't go into settings. You can't go into the desktop. You can't go into the start screen. So if that's something that this feature is going for, congrats on that. And I do believe the only way you can ever change this functionality is if you log into the admin administrative account and change the settings for that kiosk mode or that particular app experience that you're using. Skype Drive doesn't have any new features from the looks of it, just general options. Apps doesn't have anything new either, just your basic notifications, your app sizes, search, share, and defaults. Over here under device settings tab, 
We have some things that are new. Touchpad settings would be more unique for Windows 8 ready PCs. And I think it would be more convenient if you have the touchpad off, if you're using a mouse or if you're swiping back left and right, you want to go ahead and have that on and off. Reverse scrolling can be something ideal for those that aren't used to all that reverse scrolling. And with this setting right here, it just allows you to go ahead and prevent your palms or your fingers from, you know, swiping or accidentally swiping. And I think that's a great feature. Wireless and managed devices and everything else is just general from what you've seen in the Windows 8. Ease of access going down here has some new features like magnifying. You go ahead and turn this on for the modern UI of the PC settings. High contrast, the keyboard, the mouse, you can go ahead and change the sizes as you can see right here. Go ahead and choose the colors and you can also use a numeric keypad to move the mouse around the screen. Some other options if you want to go ahead and make some items or windows appear larger, go ahead and do that. And if you want to increase performance in the modern UI, you can go ahead and turn off the animations and windows and also you can remove windows background images. I'm not sure exactly what what purpose that would serve but if you want you can do that as well not much up on the update and recovery just your basic thing from what you've seen on the windows 8 so that's just about it with all the new features in 8.1 pro preview build 9374 please go ahead and share this video guys please also share it by giving it a thumbs up until next time guys see you later